And we're back now with the latest threats in the Middle East. The U.S. military conducting what they call a self-defense strike against Houthi drones in Yemen. This as more activity is being reported in the Red Sea, involving yet another U.S. naval destroyer. ABC's Ike Jachi is in Washington with the latest. U.S. military forces conducting self-defense strikes in Yemen overnight against 10 unmanned Houthi drones and a ground control station. Our goal is to make sure that we take away, we continue to take away capability from the Houthis uh, to do what they've been doing. According to CENTCOM, the drones and the ground control station presented an imminent threat to commercial and naval ships in the region. Hours before the strike, the USS Kearney, shooting down an anti-ship ballistic missile fired by Houthi militants, in addition to three Iranian drones in less than an hour. All this after the USS Gravely intercepted a Houthi missile heading toward the ship, splashing into the sea within only one mile of the warship, the closest call yet. And now, all eyes on the U.S. as the Pentagon prepares to retaliate for the attack in Jordan that killed three American soldiers, wounding 47 others. For the first time, the White House naming and blaming the Iran-backed militant group Islamic Resistance in Iraq, an umbrella group of numerous militias for the attack. Defense officials say the military is preparing for a multi-day, multi-target campaign bigger than anything seen so far. We will respond when we choose, where we choose, and how we choose. Thursday morning at the National Prayer Breakfast, President Biden paying tribute to the fallen and injured in the attack. They've raised their lives in harm's way. They risked it all. And we'll never forget the sacrifices and service to our country at the dozens of service members who were wounded and are recovering now. And the president will be attending the dignified transfer ceremony at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware tomorrow, where the three U.S. reservists killed in Jordan will be honored. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Washington.